1 divided by 0. This simple expression has the power to break mathematics itself. From a young age, we're told it's forbidden, impossible, undefined. But have you ever wondered why? What would happen if we tried? Today, we're going to explore this forbidden operation from four completely different angles. And by the end, you'll understand why this seemingly innocent expression is actually dangerous. Let's start with the most fundamental approach, basic arithmetic. To understand why division by zero fails, we first need to understand what division actually means. Let's start with something simple. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. We all know this is true. But why is it true? Because division and multiplication are inverse operations. Think of them as opposites, like addition and subtraction. They undo each other. So we can verify our division by multiplying. 5 times 2 gives us back 10. The logic completes the circle. This relationship is fundamental to how division works. Now, let's apply this same logic to our problem. Let's assume 1 divided by 0 equals some number, which we'll call x. If this equation is true, then the inverse multiplication must also be true. That's the rule we just established. This would mean that x times 0 must equal 1. Let's think about this for a moment. But here we hit a fundamental problem. Any number multiplied by 0 is always 0. Always. This isn't just a rule we made up. It's a consequence of what 0 means. Nothing. Absence. The empty set. And this is where everything breaks. We arrive at 0 equals 1. Think about what this means. If 0 equals 1, then all numbers are equal. 1 equals 2, 2 equals 3. Mathematics itself collapses into complete nonsense. This proves that no value of x can possibly satisfy our original equation. But wait! What if we don't actually divide by 0? What if instead, we get really, really close to zero without ever reaching it? This is where calculus comes in, with a tool called a limit. Let's visualize the function y equals 1 divided by x. This will help us see what happens as x gets closer and closer to zero. Notice the shape of this graph. It has two separate curved branches that get closer and closer to the x equals zero line but never actually touch it. Mathematicians call this a hyperbola, and that invisible boundary the graph approaches is called an asymptote. Watch what happens as we slide x toward zero from the positive side. The y value doesn't just increase, it explodes upward, growing without bound, shooting toward infinity. We write this mathematically as the limit as x approaches zero from the positive side equals positive infinity. This infinity symbol doesn't mean a number. It means the values grow beyond any finite bound. Now, let's approach zero from the negative side. Watch closely. This time, the value of y plummets downward, falling without limit toward negative infinity. The limit as x approaches zero from the left is negative infinity. Same function, opposite direction, completely different result. Here's the critical insight. For a limit to exist at a point, the result must be the same from both directions. It's like approaching a city from the north and from the south. You should arrive at the same place. But positive infinity and negative infinity are opposites, not the same destination. They point in completely opposite directions. Therefore, the limit does not exist. Even when we try to sneak up on zero, calculus tells us the answer is still undefined. Now for the most dramatic perspective, what if we just broke the rules? 
What if we force division by zero to have an answer? Let's watch mathematics completely fall apart. Let's make a dangerous assumption. We'll say zero divided by zero equals one. Now, you might ask, why one specifically? Honestly, we could choose any number. But watch what happens when we try to use this assumption, no matter what value we pick. We start with an undisputed fact. Two times zero is zero. Nobody argues with this. Now, we're going to perform an operation that is normally forbidden, dividing both sides by zero. But remember, we just decided to allow this. This gives us the expression 2 times 0, all divided by 0, equals 0 divided by 0. Both sides are now division by 0 expressions. Now, here's the key move. On the left side, we can rewrite this fraction. When we have a product in the numerator divided by something, we can separate it out. This becomes 2 multiplied by the quantity 0 divided by 0. This is a valid algebraic rearrangement. Now, we can use our initial assumption that 0 divided by 0 equals 1. Watch what happens when we substitute. Substituting 1 into both sides of the equation yields 2 times 1 equals 1, which simplifies to 2 equals 1. This is the collapse. By allowing division by zero to have any value, we've destroyed the consistency of our entire number system. We can now prove that any number equals any other number. Mathematics becomes meaningless. This is why division by zero must remain undefined. So far, we've seen division by zero fail in pure mathematics. But here's what's fascinating. This same breakdown appears in the physical universe. Think about density. It's simply mass divided by volume, how much stuff you have in a given space. Now imagine the center of a black hole, what physicists call a singularity. It's a point where a massive amount of matter is theoretically compressed into zero volume, an infinite amount of mass crushed into no space at all. If we plug a volume of zero into our density equation, what happens? We get density equals mass divided by zero. Division by zero appears in nature, and it signals infinite density. This isn't just a mathematical curiosity. In physics, division by zero marks a singularity, a point where our current theories completely break down, where the equations we use to describe reality give nonsensical results. It's the mathematical equivalent of a frontier we have yet to cross, a boundary at the edge of human knowledge. So, after exploring four completely different perspectives, what's the final answer? Here it is. One divided by zero is, and must remain, undefined. Not because we don't know the answer, but because giving it any answer breaks everything. We've seen this four different ways. Arithmetically, it creates logical contradictions. Through limits, it gives conflicting results depending on direction. Algebraically, it destroys the consistency of mathematics itself. And physically, it marks the edge of reality, the places where our theories break down. Division by zero isn't a problem without a solution. It's a boundary that protects the entire structure of mathematics. If you enjoyed exploring this mathematical mystery, please give this video a like and subscribe for more deep dives into fascinating math concepts.